So let's go ahead and do this. I need a bit more space, but I want to leave all that stuff there. So let's um, put this away. I'll leave my perfect slice here. Okay. Uh, let's now compute this volume. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you haven't drawn this diagram already, I think it's advisable to do that. And just like before, right, I want to be able to say, well, I know all of the dimensions of this thing. I'm going to, I'm going to put them on there, right? So I've got this cylindrical, well, I really should go to the edge, sorry. I've got this cylindrical shell, okay? And all I need is, number one, a radius. But this radius is just how far away you are from the origin in this case. It's just equal to x, yes? Now just keep in mind, um, like we saw before, it might not be quite that simple. Suppose you are not rotating about the quarter axis like we were here. Suppose the y axis. Suppose you were rotating around like something off to the edge. So for instance, if the axis here was not x equals 0, suppose it was x equals 2, right? You're just going to have to say, well, this is not just x. It's the distance of x from 2. So for instance, you might have a radius that's 2 minus x. That's the distance of x from 2. Does that make sense? So in this case, we have a very, very simple example, partly because it's the first one I'm showing you. But um, you can get ones that are a little bit more complicated. You just have to think carefully about them. Just don't automatically go here. Okay? In the same way, you need a height for this thing. But again, in our case, because we've just got this function and it's very nice and symmetrical, the height is just y, which is 4x squared minus x to the 4. Okay? One last thing I'm going to put on here. If you have the center of that um, circular cross section there, what we really need to work out this volume is this guy, which is the circumference. So this is 2 pi x instead of 2 pi r. Oh, I told a lie. <coughs> one more piece. It's a volume. So I had 1, 2, um, sorry, 1, 2, a third quantity because it's a three dimensional thing, namely in this case, delta x. Now, can I emphasize, right? You must, you must absolutely do this. I did state it before. The extension to syllabus actually says, don't learn a formula. I want you to see the formula, because you're going to have to use it. But don't learn a formula. Learn how a volume is created and realize you can have an infinite set of infinitesimally thin anything and just add them up. Cylinders, annual slices, cylindrical shells, whatever you want, whatever you want. Okay. Now we're ready to actually say the volume equals. Now I actually already have a couple of lines, so I'm ready to um, continue from there, and I'm going to convert this into an integral now. Okay. So I'm integrating from naught to two, and what is it that I'm integrating? Uh, this guy here, right? Now I'm ready to actually say, <coughs> excuse me, this is two pi x, <coughs> and I'm going to substitute in my h which is uh, 4x squared minus x to the 4. And because I've turned this integral into an integral, this is a dx now, rather than delta x. Uh, looks like I can take out a factor of 2 pi. That's nice. Uh, then I've got the integral. And what's my integrand? 4x cubed minus x to the 5. Yeah? dx. Whoa, is this not? a hundred times simpler than what we had before when we were dealing with the same integral, uh, same volume rather, by annular slices. Uh, 2 pi out the front. Okay, primitive function. x to the 4. x to the 6 on 6. Not to 2. Yep. Okay. 2 to the 4. That's 16. 2 to the 6. 64 on 6. You evaluate both of these at zero, and you get zero. Let's see here. Uh, this thing I can simplify to be 32 on 3. That's going to be 48 on 3. 48 on 3. 48 take away 32 is 16. Which, I hope this was recently enough that that looks familiar. Okay? And vastly superior to the approach we had to take before, which was a bit of a mess. Okay? Now, like I said, the, the heading, which I asked you to do after the fact, is volumes by cylindrical shells. In pretty much every case, just like the example I just went through with you, 
You can do any volume that's biannular slices, you can do by cylindrical shells, right? Um, the question will usually stipulate for you, usually. However, there are kind of some clues in this question, now that you know what cylindrical shells are, that lean you towards the fact that cylindrical shells would have been a better way to go. Any suggestions? Number one. It's a polynomial. What else? Something very nearby to that. <coughs> okay, there's the two halves, right? Then again, we often get two halves. Like, even if I had only one part of it, when I rotate around, you're going to get the other bit, right? Um, important. Oh, yeah, McKinney, do you want to just. I was just thinking, when you made the annulus bulk, I didn't think that was the only thing you could do because um, you were rotating it around the y axis. Mm -hmm. So, when I usually think of something rotating it on the y axis, I think that you get something that's. On the same like direction as the axis, and then okay, yeah, yeah. So you're thinking about like what the actual shape is yeah. that you'll get. I, I agree. Kind of like when you look at that thing, I think it looks more like a bunch of these than it looks like a bunch of of those, right? Though to be fair, I can fairly cut it either way. I think the really important thing is to recognize. Let's think about the way an annulus works. <coughs> the volume is the integral of a to b pi. Uh, what do we have here? Now I'm going around the y-axis. Aren't I, right? So this is going to be like some kind of x squared dy, and we know what that's going to that change because it was an annual slice. Whereas here, you've got right there, you've got the y. It just is given to you already. Now when I look at this, I'm like, but I don't know what x squared is. We had to twist and turn. We had to use the quadratic formula. Do you remember that? Possible, but hard. So look at how things have been given to you, and then think about which. Therefore, which one is going to be more efficient? Okay. So, so, we, we, I suppose, could add another row to this, but I won't do it right now. Um, I, hope, I hope you see the concept, okay? Cylindrical shells is exercise uh, 6.2, I guess, 6.2. Um, so I'll write up some questions in a second, but uh, maybe you need to catch up on some of your working or whatever. I hope, um, oh, here it is. I hope my work with colourful cardboard was um, helpful. <laughs> <laughs>